No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world, and today we have legendary Detroit hip hop outfit twisted in this bitch. How the fuck are you guys doing? Doing good, man. It's an honor to be here, man. Yeah, no, thank yeah. you for having us, bro. Honestly, yeah. it's, it's legendary. I'm gonna tell you guys that I've always known about you guys. Always like heard the songs and stuff, but always was wondering exactly who you guys were. But then also the other day, I went to a concert and I saw multiple people with gigantic, twisted, fucking either back pieces or like oh, massive man. chest tattoos. That's just crazy, and and right? that sort of like might have like reignited my curiosity. I was like, I would like to have a conversation with those dudes at some point. That's, That's awesome. Dope. Hey, oh, yeah. shouts out to whoever had those chest right. pieces. Right. Shouts out to the tat artists, man. Right, the back yeah. piece and chest murals is pretty hip. I like that. And they were just, they were deep in the mosh pit as well. It's like, it's not like they were shying away from the mosh. They were fully, fully nah. involved. <laughs> we don't usually uh, roll with the wallflowers. Yeah, no, no, no. You know what I mean? Yeah. They get in there, they get dirty. That's yeah. that's one of the great things about our, our concerts. It's like, it's a hip hop show. With mosh pits, you know what I mean. Mosh it's pit crazy. Tendencies. Yeah, hell it yeah. It has that swagger and that audacity of hip hop, but it has that anger and that angst of rock and roll. Right. And I just, I don't, I don't see nobody else really doing that. Right. Maybe because they think it's stupid. I'm not <laughs> sure. You shouldn't. But, it's a good time. Have but, you always had that feeling that you were creating music for the the disenfranchised, for the damaged out there? Not no. in the beginning. In the beginning, we were just doing what we loved. Mm -hmm. And then to find out, you know what I mean, if there was this humongous family of people. That you were just going to happen to naturally sort of fit this void for? Right, absolutely. That's not what we got in it for. But to know that that's what it is now, it's, it's become so much bigger than me and, and, and Jamie. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. It's well beyond us. And to be a part of something like that, to be a part of what started something like that, what solidifies something like that, man. To Nobody be, can take that from us. To be a, a part of the voice of a generation. Right. Mm -hmm. Like the, a movement that physically happened and, and man, to be where we are today. Right. What was, what was your relationship before you started rapping together? Or how did that unfold in the very, very early days? We, oh, man. We used to be, we, we were yeah. friends since way back in the days. You mm -hmm. know what the I mean? first like, time I met him, ironically, was in a boys club. You know what I mean? He was the Boys and like, Girls Club? Yeah. He was probably like eight or nine. There was a lot of shit going on in the Boys and Girls Club, I'm be honest with you. I was, <laughs> I was hitting the Boys and Girls Club, and I learned about a lot of shit there. Me too. Yeah. I there mean, was, it wasn't crazy like church, you know, where you right. got a risk of being touched or whatever. But, but in it comparison was, to like, com like Sunday school, oh, so man. you were finding out some shit. You oh, yeah, <laughs> because you were around older kids too. It was like an integrated high school. Like, kindergartners are around the seniors, and you just it's heard true. it was crazy. Right. But it was an after school program kind of thing. So everybody was yeah. just like there to turn up and play video games because in the hood, you didn't couldn't afford a ColecoVision at the time, but they had one there. And there's like this long ass library line. Everybody's waiting to play. What was it? Uh, the one where you swing across with the fucking well, alligators? Pitfall, pitfall and shit like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know, yeah, we're old as shit. Yeah. Okay, yeah. man. No, I I just, the hell I'm yeah. 35. How old are you guys? Hey, older than you. Older than you. Yeah. That's but the just greatest a answer bit, in the world, right? Older than you. Older no, than you. Real talk. My no, but geez. yeah, man. Uh, if I was, it wasn't for this makeup, I was. Uh, what happened right now? That, Hell yeah. you that know, shit is is primarily at this point in your life. You're still wearing the makeup just to hide your aging. No, <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's to stand out, man. It's a double edged benefit, man. It's like right now, if you took fifty of the hottest rappers that you could think of mm. in us and you put them on a stage. We're going to stand out. Very you know much what I mean? true. Yeah. It's and true. We needed that look that fit our sound. <laughs> right. You know, you know what's crazy, though? The other day, I was watching a bunch of you guys' music videos, and then it started to autoplay this Denzel Curry video. Right. where, oh, he, geez, But where right? he's Seen wearing the right. face paint. Right. Right. And I'm like, the YouTube algorithm knows <laughs> that I just watched a bunch of videos Absolutely. from some rappers who wear face paint, and now they're giving me a rapper who doesn't normally wear face paint but is wearing in this video. Right. That's fucking crazy. Right. It's the fucking government. They're watching them telling you. I mean, I don't know how else to explain it. It's not like you guys and Denzel Curry are so sonically similar. You're uh -huh. not from the same generation. The uh -huh. only similarity is the face paint. It was, Shouts it, out to Denzel, right. though. Shouts he is out, fire. Man. Very talented. Fire, man. Golly. Fire. Tech got makeup on in a new video. You, got, sure. you know what I mean? It's, For sure. It's, it's funny how we... Me and Jamie are held to a different standard than everybody else. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? When we do it, we're just two guys trying to hide behind makeup. When everybody else do it, oh, look, he looks cool. He looks this or whatever. And it becomes something where you don't even listen to our music. You judge right off the bat. You're judge. like, oh, they got me. It's ah. that, that prejudge. But man, Denzel right off the comes cut. out with it. 
and, and it's not a problem. Right, but you he doesn't I mean? do it all the time, so it felt more like artistic when that's he did what, it. Yeah, you know? 100%. It's, this is a, a statement about, you know, he, and I think in that, that's it's kind of... Um, it's like outside of his comfort zone to try to be... I right. wonder what he's seen that sure. made him be like, you know what? I'm painting my face for this. But one. that song in particular, I think, is about the way that rappers are sort of held up as this like joke that like suburban kids can basically just like have fun laughing at your demise. And I think that that's why he was rocking the face paint was sort of to like represent that. If I'm not that's forgetting just, the the that's symbolism, that's America, man. Yeah. They love to tear you down. You know what I mean? It's true. They'll build you up, but they they have much more fun bringing you down and tearing you down. Right. Absolutely. And kids love see seeing rappers make choices and live their life in such a way that it's untenable. Like they love to see you with, you know, with guns and drugs and they love right. to Absolutely. see you like, doing all kinds of fucked up shit. Those are the rappers that a certain percentage of rap fans are just going to gravitate towards because of that fact. Right. right. Because it's so far removed from the world that they were brought mm-hmm. up in, it's they're enamored by it. But it was like when we came up, you rapped to get out of the fucking hood. You ain't rap to it's, get back now in it's the trap. Backwards. Now it's, it's like and now you got kids going platinum, selling five million singles totally. digitally, blowing up and and going back to the trap house. It just don't make sense to me, these false senses of pride that they think they need to, I need to still be in that circle. And that's why we're losing people at a rapid rate, man. Yeah, no, there's a lot of truth to that. So yeah. talk about the scene in Detroit that you guys came up out of. And do you think it was a particular like inspired time? Because like in that however many years span, you can point to a whole lot of legendary shit, both on an underground level and people who broke out of that world. Mm-hmm. Right, right. It, it was, was uh, it was real cutthroat in the beginning. You know what I mean? Nobody was helping anybody. Right. Everybody was out for themselves. And we, you know, us being the beginning guys, we got to see the real of everybody. You uh-huh. know what I mean? Before we, they got to hide behind the curtains and whatnot. And just how a lot of people treated us was like, are you fucking serious, dude? <laughs> but it you was something I mean? to be said about going and, and like promoting clubs and putting flyers on cars and seeing Kid Rock doing the same right. thing. So we knew we knew we were in, in the pocket of whatever this is going to be. This is, but yeah, this was man. Kid Rock when he wasn't shit, too, right? This is, this is, this is grit sandwiches and champagne or whatever right. it was. This is before you know, he this, was yeah. like, I'm going to release a record. Every two months until I signed a deal. It was before a bow with a bow. Oh, right, yes, right, yes, right. Yes, yeah, yes, right. yes, yes. And the thing was though, but it was like he was he was cool though. It's like everybody on that portion, like 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 all the rappers kind of were like when you've seen each other, it was like kind of a respect thing. But then and behind the scenes it was kind of like everybody hated each other. And mm. that's weird too. Yeah, you know? it was but weird. It was always weird. It was a it was a very weird scene coming up in and trying to find your place in. Mm. You know what I mean? And Detroit's a weird place in general, right? Oh for real. Yep. For real. There's and still it, no mall in Detroit. Is that not crazy? <laughs> what you know happened what to Eastland? Like, Eastland ain't no That ain't mall? in Detroit. Oh, Probably because oh, they yeah, know it's right. going to go down that there. That ain't in the city. He's got a point. That wasn't Harper, in Harper Woods, Woods, wasn't it? God yep. damn. No major mall corrected. in the city. But they're not building any new malls because all the malls are being turned into like office spaces and like outdoor shopping it's centers. All it, seems like, it seems like downtown shit. Detroit's got this more like uh, posh kind of vibe. They're like, we'll put up a casino in a couple of these, you know, well-to-do places. Right. And like you ain't coming outside of that, it's like hell, you know what I mean? I mean, right. and then inside, it's like you got to go through hell to get to this little cool. Unless you're coming or, from Canada, right? Yeah, unless you hop on that express bridge and you get right in there. Right. You know what I mean? But, but you guys are coming up out of the struggle. Like, was your upbringing like really, really rough? Or and and how did how were you guys friends in the first place before rapping? Like, well, the friend part of it was uh, was was the boys club thing. It was right. uh, the, it's it's an well, interesting that was the story. meeting part. That was the meeting part, and we and we can't we came to find out that we had a a, a common friend between and, and another guy named Brian who was the third dude in house of crazy is our original group we were in um like like we we started hanging out with each other you got to hang out with this dude he likes rap music and he likes comic books and all you got to hang out with this dude he likes you know baseball mm. cards and but i'm music like who is this dude he's like who is this fat kid you keep talking about and then and we know, went over there and it was it was cool it was on I mean, i don't know this dude like 35 years and then when together. i seen him i'm like he's the guy who saved me in the rompus room right i didn't put mean? that together I was, I was i was a fat kid building forts in 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 this in this rompus room and they had these big ass like they were like foam mats you could throw a motherfucker around like a you were doing jujitsu, right. and me and a couple of the, the kids, the the nerds, we were building mazes. And you'd go in there, and like these other, you know, the senior kids would come in there and crash them all. And he's like, "Hey, leave that fucking fat kid alone!" And I'm like, hey, "I'm a hero." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you know, just just the fact that he was chill like that and everything. And that's kind of that when it came over my house, I'm like, 
I know you. You're cool as fuck. That's you know, crazy. you just get that first impression from somebody, and you mm. know they, they have good intentions, and you can like see right into them. And movies. isn't it great to be a kid? Because I'm gonna be honest with For you, sure. it's very hard to make a friend at this point in my Absolutely. life because it seems like everybody's got ulterior motives. It's too much politics. I, 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 I need to have like a business relationship with you or something that we're doing together that gives me a reason for, for us to be in each to other's talk lives. To you every day. But if you're 14 <laughs> and you're into rap and you're into comic books, then we have more than enough Absolutely. to go on our friendship goals. here. Yeah, man. Because girls. <laughs> Girls are next. For real. For real. Girls are next. Yeah. Yeah, right. That, that was the steps, man. For real. Yeah. yeah you're down to fight. You're, you're down all, to fight man. somebody with me. No. All right. There yeah. you go. You're yeah. down, if you're not a pussy and you're down to get it in, if somebody's gonna try to fight me, it's then we're best yeah. friends. It's, it's over. true. It's Either true, we're man. gonna kick their ass and we're about to get beat up together. <laughs> yep. That's yep. gonna suck. But That's how it is. You drop the ball, man, for your homies, man. Where we came from, though, man, it was rough as fuck. Yeah. Absolutely rough as fuck. You go there now, you know, and it's two houses on the block. But a fucking seventy thousand dollar Escalade. Really, one of the driveways. You know Hood what I mean? Rich. Like, really, they just bombard. It's like third world over there. Mm -hmm. But man, I growing said, up, it, it 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 was like there was a crew of us though. There was like a clique of, of all of us that hung out together. And as time progressed, we noticed how how people started falling off and going their own ways. And some went to jail, and some went to college, and some went to the cemetery. They don't go to college. And, you know, they all went to jail or well, the cemetery. <laughs> you know, I was trying to give a ray of hope in the goddamn story, oh, but you know what I mean. I was hoping that some of the people that we haven't talked to actually went on and did mm -hmm. something, but, you know. But So the area that you're from is a total Hopeful slum thinking. now? Um, yeah, I mean. It, you know, they're still trying to rebuild still, it. Yeah, so they got new businesses over there, mm -hmm. but somebody just got murdered over there with some Jordans. Like, but we could go. Really? Jordans? Jordans. Oh, still motherfuckers still killing people over Jordans. Jordans. Holy man. shit. I was going to say, that's so last year. Is right. that class? Is that, is that tacky to say? Like, God damn, man. What the fuck is going but on? My like, life we can't get our own shoes? From in bo being born until the day we created Twisted is fucking crazy as really? shit. As opposed to Twisted to right now. Right. Completely different worlds. Houses getting shot up on the streets. Thugging out, being crazy. And you started the group at what age? Oh, how old? I want to say it was his say, idea. I was done with it. I he say, was like, "Hey, uh, man, I got an idea." Uh -huh. I do, man. And I was like, "Let's see what happens." The fat kid's got a plan, man. We're gonna do this demo tape and pass it along to these guys, and, and we're what, gonna see what, what happens. What year do you think that was that you guys started making 90, shit together? Ninety-seven, yeah, ninety-eight. Uh, yeah. Ninety-eight was the first. The first year we brought out most tasteless. In ninety-three, we were doing House of Crazies. Right. So that's like the window from between when it went from House of Crazies to uh, Twisted with Most Tasteless of ninety-eight. Right. And um. The, the the progression of that and how we learned and the things that we learned and picked up behind the scenes and that was just we thought we knew some shit but that was like the beginning of what would become fucking oodles and oodles of information right. and intel that would make the people that you see today or the people that you hear today or whatever when people hear our shit yeah it's uh it's it's been a long ass journey man for real and we walked it we did. You know what I mean? No yeah, magic carpet rides. We paid dues. We paid dues harder than any fucking people ever paid dues. We, we paid attention. Name something. Name a fucking gig in, in the industry. We've done that job. And I'm proud to say that because if you do right. that job, then you don't have no problem telling somebody else. Like, we've loaded. We've been stagehands. We've fucking so done So you're laundry. talking before the group took off, you guys were doing all the, the, the grunt work. For yeah. The, yeah. yeah. Load like, in, load out, do nowadays, the laundry. Yeah. Nowadays, oh, motherfuckers right. right. come in on carpet rides and it's like, you know, oh, I paid dues. It's like, mm, did you though? <laughs> Did you though? Because I remember a time when it wasn't that easy and, and people really had to get in the, in the trenches to prove prove your love. Show right. me. Show me your dedication. Show me you got what it takes. Or, 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 or maybe the other side of that coin would, how hard can I push this motherfucker? Right. Here's an he opportunity. It could have been that. It could have been that too. Like how But you know? instead of just being like, here's the opportunity, mm -hmm. I'm going to run you through the ringer. Yeah, right. I mean, and either yeah. you deal with it and accept your opportunity or you fall to the wayside and lose that But I'm proud to say that we did though. Shit, I'm proud to dude, say we did. Work. We stuck it out like motherfucking troopers. Like You could have called me at 2 o'clock in the morning and be like, I need you to be fucking duct taped to the side of a NASA plane. We going to Mars tonight. Be right. ready. I'm like, hey man, we Let's gotta go. go to Mars and shit. Right. Be at my house at nine. Like it was just done. It's good to Consider be from the grizzle done. like that because you know I know a lot of rappers who you know they get signed and then they get sent on a promo tour and to them they cannot wrap their head around the idea of going and play a bunch of shows for free and yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's really all about what you set your standard for because if you come in the game and you're getting fucking twenty grand a show and you right. just start fucking living that, then of course you're never going to see the value in the promo thing because you're fucking you you got used to a much more you know pampered version of what it is to be an artist. It's cool right. to hear you guys talk about coming from also, loading shit that's yeah. like the very most entry Absolutely. point it's like, you know? i feel it, it makes us humble and it made us humble that's why we 
<clears throat> excuse me, don't take for granted the shit that we get, be it stature or, right. or come up it's or however you say it. It's like because we feel that <laughs> it's 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 part of the evolution of getting here. It just makes it all the more better of a person. And then plus if we look for those jobs or whatever, like I said, you know, you know if someone's like, I can't do that. It's like, you know what? Not only can you do that, but we did that and then we would go perform and then we would load out. Like you know what I mean? So not it's everybody like, can hop on a bus and go for three months. It's mm-hmm. true. You know what I mean? It's true. So the people that are around you are just as important as you. Right. So if you're just out there shitting on these guys, true. you know, treating them like garbage, it's going to reflect in some way, shape, or form Absolutely. in your show. It's not going to last long. No, nah, we don't want that. You if know you're making mean? a bunch of money or you have an operation going and you're not treating the people that are around you fairly, it's going to catch up to you. Right. Absolutely. That's we, what, we try to surround ourselves with a good circle of people that, you know what I mean? Absolutely, that are seriously down for the cause. This ain't about mm-hmm. Twisted. This is about a movement that's been going on underground for a long time. And when you lose mm-hmm. that is when it becomes hard to keep like a team together is when you lose that initial <laughs> inertia of like, this isn't just uh, money-making operation this is a movement this is about something important right, right and you a lot of times you know you'll originally have that group of people who are fucking with it to the extent that they just want to be part of it right. but then a lot of times what is a movement devolves into a business yes. absolutely 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 man and that's how you kind of find out who's there for the paycheck and who's there for the movement you mm. know what i mean it's just through time right. time and opportunity yeah and that's no all doubt. that's we feel like we've been like that so I we like don't think fact, it's out of the question like the to have other people see, like that absolutely i was gonna say i i like just i like the fact that the people that i know that are down for us uh in the same regard that we were down for our people before us and and so on and so forth you know the begats of the begats of the begats right <clears throat> to show that love and and that ride or die mentality you know what i mean it's like i'm here for you <clears throat> you have to succeed i'm i'm coming with you right mm-hmm. That's the first thing. When we got a deal, we actually had another guy in our group. It's true. Really? You were a three-piece? Yeah, we were a three-piece. Twice. uh, Right. (laughs) Twice, real talk. we told him, we're going to get this deal, and you're the first one. We're coming back. And er I know everybody says that, and they never do that. We we actually did that shit. We went and got everybody that we could from the hood because we told them, hey, you need rappers? We know rappers. Mm. We know rappers for days. That was the first time around. You know what I mean? When we came that way, and then the second time around when we were building our own... Our own uh, imprint, right? You know, we came back from motherfuckers again, mm. and we're like, "Look, man, you know, come with us, or or do you want to be a part?" Or people were reaching out, like, "Hey, man, I want to be down." It's like it's a no brainer. You've been with us throughout your life. You mm. know what I mean? Like, for example, like Blaze, right? You know what I mean? And shit like that isn't the same. You know, it's more than talent. You know what it I mean? It really is. It's such a character based industry mm. that if a if a person's character <laughs> is flawed. I don't give a shit who you are and how talented you are. Right. Either A, you have a time that, believe me, it's going to catch up to you, or you will never get that airplane off the ground. Never. Right. Attitude is everything <laughs> so when for you, long time. When did you guys get signed, and how, how far did you get before you got signed? And what was the first time Let's you got see. signed? What was that like? Um, we would have got signed We would have got signed in what, 98? Like I would, no, I would say, like yeah, late 97, late early 97. 98, we got our first like real deal <clears throat> from somebody that was doing it on a national level. Mm-hmm. And we just shut the fuck up and listened and watched and learned. I think that was the, that was every the smartest aspect thing we could have done, you know? That we could. Mm-hmm. Every meeting, any time there were, you know, hushed talkings in the court, we listened and watched everything. Mm. It's true. Because the last thing we wanted to be is just some coattail riders. Absolutely. We want to come in, be low maintenance, take care of business, and make those people fucking <laughs> proud, <laughs> right? He's to he's make hot. them people some money so they're like, hell yeah, these are our dudes. Oh, you really? know what I mean? And that's what it was. And then we signed with fucking Def Jam and Island and that none of that really mattered. Island Def yeah. Jam, yep. what, what did they do with you? Did they like manage to get a distribution? It was, it was really. a pressing and distribution yeah. deal for okay. Most Tasteless. They took one of our original oh. records and then we re-released it with like five or six extra additional songs on Best a national thing to come basis. out of them deals is fucking Lior Cohen brings me and him into his office and he's like, you two motherfuckers can rap. And I was like, yeah, so yeah. Cool though, right? I don't like, give a fuck what give a y'all fuck do from cool this point shit. on. Don't matter. That was that was such a stamp to us. Wow. Like, that's what's up, man. Thank that's you for that. That's yeah, rare, rare hip hop history like, right there. That's crazy, that was crazy, man. man. It's crazy. Very crazy. Hell yeah. 
Wow, that's awesome. That's so real dope. almost. Like, did he just say that? But so wait you, for the take off the mask, and it's the custodian. But, but wait, so you guys didn't like get shelved in your whole early uh, label drama? You like signed, and then it sucked, and then you got out of the deals. Is that how it went, or you um, got it swapped just, around? What it came when it came to. <clears throat> I guess national record labels like an island or a Def Jam, they just didn't understand what we were trying to do. They didn't understand the integrity that we wanted to maintain. It was just like, fucking, who gives a fuck what your fans think? Just do it. Everybody else does it, and they're making money off of it. And we're like, we have a different relationship. What kind of stuff are they trying to get you to do, though? Oh, man, just whatever you Shiny see. Shiny suits? Take like, that, take that. Put it like <laughs> I this. knew where you was going no, with this shit. No, I, knew, I was like, no, hey, put it I'm like just this. trying to think of what I would want you to do or what, signed, what a label right, right. would have wanted at that time. When we signed to the first deal, they sent our entire record back on um, paper, typed out. Well, he's with right. all these lines Highlighted. crossed out. Just certain lyrics. Certain lyrics they wanted. They and wanted either suggestions. removed or, or Maybe turned Maybe you could backwards. say this instead of that. And we it's put that shit time. back in and returned to the center. It's like, you either take this or you don't get shit. But you have shit. to think about where we came from. And, and at that point, and it, it was like, you know, they could have said, uh, to be blatantly honest, they could have been like, take that song off. We were like, fuck yeah, man. You know, we wanted to get that, you know? Mm. We had our ground. We're like, you, you know? ain't editing us. Not at all. We were <laughs> edited before you will not be edited after you. You and know you, what I mean? You guys had the face paint at this point, though? Yeah. Okay. Yep. And so so yeah. that was always a part of it. Not always. Oh. Not always. No, because in the beginning, that was like one thing we were like, don't do that. Because we're already with two dudes that are painted up, right. rapping about the wicked shit. It's yeah. like motherfuckers are just going to think we're some coattail riders. Like, right. we want to bring something to this shit. So for a long time, we just tried other things because we knew we, we had to look more than normal. Right. You know so I mean? you were with ICP, but you you hadn't gotten 100 percent on board with constantly painting your face, or did the Absolutely. ICP paint came we, later? We were oh. like, no. So that was from day one. Day one. Oh, okay. Since okay. day one, yeah. Yes. When we signed with them, we went through a bunch of different like Masking, evolutions of, 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 of what what we should be to you know for for how the the, the act and the gimmick would go. And, and he did it. One day he just came out of the bathroom on some fucking shit. What do you think? And I was like, oh my, you motherfucker. Dude, In terms of what? So just doing dope. all white with the we eyes to, blacked? We, we, would, we would put baby powder on our face and I sweat profusely and it would cake up and it was just not a good look. It wow. was like this, like, you paste. My bad. I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm set, bro. You got them loaded. Yeah, man, baby. I'm feeling Arr. right. I'm feeling right. I know my Close. limitations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't no, drive home. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, oh, but, but like, um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, right? The guy who took that rip and hit the showcase um but yeah uh yeah, going going through evolution <laughs> going through evolutions of our shit you know we finally just decided that that shit look, didn't look right and uh rather than just have it be pasty it, i, I could have handed it to, i don't know Sorry. why i'm I acting like they're invisible i felt like they needed it at that i, I hadn't <laughs> really thought you. of it like that before I sorry sorry hell yeah but but uh yeah so it was just a. uh, uh I want to say it was kind of a no-brainer to just try to try to put use makeup in place of the baby powder because mm. you can sweat through the makeup and yeah. So instead of looking like we can hop in swimming man, pools like this and come yeah, out and look but insane. Yeah. You don't have the problem where like because when I I wore it on uh, when I did my ICB interview I, mm -hmm. I did the full clown paint and I was I, I wasn't sure if like there's better quality face paint because it was it was coming off of my finger. It's, yeah. it, it's yeah. got to be like that grease based. Yeah, it's like, you know what I mean. One, one of them was Miron. That's a good company. They yeah. got it's like it's where you can sweat through it. It does. And you know what I mean? Like some of the shit runs off and drips on your clothes and fucks it all up and shit. Right. right. I mean, if you really look at our makeup of people that paint their face, like there is an art. Me and him, we don't fuck around. Like really? we don't want you to see any mistakes in it. Like we really take it serious. I always, His, he's the artist though. But I always found you guys. Oh, wait, so you, you'll paint him as well? No. No. Oh, no that, you keep your goddamn hands. No, no, no. Keep your hands. No, no, no. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. But no, but it's like, uh, yeah. No. no. That's part of the process. It's part of the transformation. He's the artist, and I'm not a moron, so oh, okay. you know what I mean? But he can be like, he can really do some crazy shit, man. For sure. That's For awesome. Sure. No, it's fun. I just always found you guys interesting, because I remember when I realized that you guys had like videos where you'd be showing your actual face, and then the face-painted version, which mm -hmm. is very different than ICP, who were just like always painted, pretty much. For sure. Yeah. Because we'll, we'll, we always try to keep it, you know, like, at the same, at the same time... Um, this this is like an extension of us. They're still Jamie and Paul, and it's like Jamie and Paul are funny cats. They they uh we were in some of their movies and shit like that as a uh, big stank and little poot and different comical aspects of us. Mm -hmm. So we're it's just cool. silly ass. It's dudes like diversifying naturally. your bonds. You know right. what I mean? It's like and no one's you know like to be able to it, it this this is twisted. 
You know what I mean? There's different layers to it, like an onion. You know, like different. And right. I hate onions, but I love I us. That, but you, you know what I'm onions? saying? I don't, like onions, I don't know man. why it doesn't like you go get a Philly cheesesteak with no with onions. It's almost kind of like sacrilege. I love good onions. Fuck with you the onions. Whiz on it. Yeah, yeah man, I don't know. And something. you can't do. You know how they do you wrong. You know they'll bring your shit out. It's got the onion out. You're like, oh man, I, I really don't want to be an asshole, but I can't eat that. Onion. Can you get? And they just take the onion off, and it still tastes like onion. Oh, I can't God. even do that. I, I, when I think about onions, I think about eating a steak, and there's a bunch of, like, you know, just big chunks of onion, and I'm, like, <gasps> cutting off a piece of the steak and just jamming the big chunk of onion in. Like, I'm, that's the only thing that's entering my mouth besides the actual meat. Right. But somehow that additional texture just really adds to it, and I'm, oh, you're going to puke. Yeah, do you, you don't like no, that. I was, I was on, I was like, do you fuck with sautéed mushrooms? Like, oh, that's what I was saying. Any vegetable, vegetable onion really, but onion's mushroom. a good one. Half, I'm good with the mushrooms. Yeah, on the side and go like a peppers, onions, onions or something. Every, anything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's awesome. I love it. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's just always been like that. Something about onions. Fuck yeah. Fuck you, onions. But it's weird for me too because you know when I think about onions, I think about bunions. Really? Man, I used to know this girl like one of the first girls I used to talk to. She Did would eat bunions? an onion like an apple. Oh my god! Like Holy a, shit! And that's why we ain't kicking no more. That it's honestly, like, that says amazing, a lot about where you guys are coming from. Like, I'm telling the bitches you, bitches were eating onions by hand like out there. An apple. <laughs> I was like, is that? At first, right I thought there. it was, and she was like, I eat a potato like that, dude. I was like, Look, I'm out. Straight in the face. Your shit a little tart. <laughs> Game too. over. There's no. There's nothing you could do about that. Holy shit. Nothing, but yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> you know, when you think about it, when you're growing up, you were fucking some whack ass chicks. You were smoking some really shitty weed. Yep. You were drinking nasty ass alcohol. Everything was but it's your trash first. quality. But, but it's you, your but you first. Didn't know. So yeah. mentally, like it was so, the best. so that's the real question. Does your does your <coughs> does your mental portion play into that? Is there is there more factor of that? Absolutely. Like, that's why I watched house shit? party thirty five times a month. I remember, you know what I mean? Because it's like smoking cigarettes and getting a buzz off of that, and mm. that was like being feeling high. You got lightheaded. You that know still works for me. I could still smoke a cigarette and get a fucking little brain high. I remember saying that. So long. If I did, as soon as they stop would. getting me high, I'm done smoking. Once in a while, I'll be drunk and I'll just grab. If I'll grab somebody's American Spirit, and I don't know what the fuck it is about those things, but they're just so much more dense than like a Marlboro oh, Light. Boy. And I'll smoke an American Spirit while I'm already like a few drinks in, and I will just You're be like, "Holy drink. shit, I'm fucking sick, bro!" Fuck yeah, That'll hey. do it. I'll feel you on that. I don't yeah. know what it is. I you guys aren't smokers though, not yeah. cigarette smokers. It used to be. Oh my god, completely. You guys quit together. No. no. Nope. He quit yeah. like probably like four years before me. I think so. Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. yep. Mine was on some doctor shit. It yeah. was like, you know, handle your business. You're about to be an adult, you know, write it out. So mm. it was like, yeah. But then my son was like, come on, man. He was like six. And he was like, you know, you go outside fucking eight times a day. What's up, man? We, we're playing you don't a game. You got to leave. An addiction it is until you it's step back in hindsight on. and look at it. And but I, I made him a like, deal. I was like, "You quit sucking your thumb. I quit smoking cigarettes. We'll do it right now." And that's what it was. Really? Yeah. Oh my god! And you can't like you can't lay your kid down like that. No, no man. No, right? No. Still there is no. Up. And I, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm like, oh man, there's no falling off the way you. Mm. Stay strong, fella. No, for real. It's, it's tough, too. When you're it addicted is. to shit, in whether, whatever it may be. But anybody that wants out. to quit, you could do it. Believe me. You can. And it takes about three weeks to a month. And you'll it even forget what it takes. Takes like it takes you want willpower, man. Yeah. That's what the fuck it takes. It takes willpower. Yeah. And a and a good support group of motherfuckers that <clears> want to <throat> see you succeed. Don't surround yourself with people that don't want success for you. Yeah. Flat out. You know what I mean? If you got a solid group, a group you're of you're probably people gonna you, be lonely. <laughs> hey man, real talk. But 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 if you got supportive people around you and you got willpower, you can pull that shit off. That's anything. Right. That's that's anything. I don't care what the fuck you're on. I don't care if it's meth or amphetamines or fucking cigarettes. Or bubble gum. Maybe you like the sweets too much. Right. Hey, Maybe you're you, diabetic and you're you never on the meth. It. No. no. My no, last no, name is, is Meth you Rick. You did for real. Oh, yeah. yeah. I ain't keep it real. I ain't mad at this you. Motherfucker shit. ain't trying no goddamn. I yes, shit, I, I did. No. No, man. I ain't judging this story. Yeah. I don't know this motherfucker. I ain't judging like that. nobody. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just me, I'm, no. All I can say is I've done drugs in my life with. Porn star bitches from the valley that yeah, I have not talk. done in any other scenarios throughout so, my life. I never did GHB besides with these hoes either. So. Situational yeah. drug use. I'm over here day rape drugging myself. I and understand it. Was weird. it. Yeah. Right. I woke up with you my hand out my own pants many a time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nothing I can do about that. I just blame it on the cap. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something yeah. in this cap. If man. you remove girls from the equations, I probably wouldn't have done any drugs in my life. But I, I blame the hoes for all I learned, that shit. I swear to God, man, I learned that as because there was. He's not lying. When we grew up, there was like thirty of us in the hood there was a pack of 30 mm. and we would meet all you know you go out and meet a pack of girls right 
And I would just sit back and watch how these guys interacted and all mm. the things that they would do and watch how guys would play themselves for these bras. And these bras are just like, ah, whatever. So I would just sit back and I learned that early, man. Never play yourself for nobody. You mm. know what I mean? And it'd be like that. A girl bring out a bunch of coke. And I'm like fucking 15 years old, 14 years old. I'm like, uh, see ya. You know what <laughs> I mean? Real. It just ain't my thing. I ain't about right. to do it for you, but for nobody. But at that age, that's a, major, that's a major fork in the road. It's like, do I be cool or do... Right. You know, or, or if I go with the opposite, how how far more I'm going to get... You know, right. Like how longer down the road I'm going to get, you know? Right. It's a big out. decision. Yeah, it really yeah. is, especially how we came up. Like, you really had this. That, to make it out of where we made it out, bro... It's just crazy. It's right. amazing. Right. Yeah, it's crazy. Know? It's more amazing than than a lot Holy of things. Shit. But when did you start to feel like you actually had, like made it in any sense? We still don't feel like that. Really, I'll keep it real. Never yeah. felt That's financially real. like comfortable enough to f kind of feel like you had solidified yourself. I mean, we ain't worked a job in motherfucker like twenty years. You That's know what real. I mean? But it, it it's never to the point where we lost that hunger. It's mm. yeah. This, where we're just no like, comfortability. You gotta uh, have that hunger and that drive. We can mail away. this one in. <laughs> or, like, or times when you you know the maybe the situation isn't uh, as as you know it's unsavory or something like that. You're right. Like, we got houses. We bought a people's house and shit do. like that. But we'll never. I, I don't want to be like that because yeah. I think when you do get that kind of uh, fiscal stuff, you know what I mean? No. You become complacent. You, you start do. forgetting. You we've seen it happen to that. other people. So yeah. that's why. It's like we've seen that happen to other people where they just, they, they like, they take, tap, they, what did it, mellow out, tap out, level out, level out. Level you out, get, man. You, you ate, <laughs> you fed <laughs> you your belly. I mean? You but know it's what like, I mean? and they just like, bam, I'm good. I don't need anything else out of life. And and, and a lot of things like the work drive. Because that's all they're in for is money. And in our, at least in my state of mind, your state it's of different. mind, you stay in that zone, you keep working. You know what I mean? You stay through. Like, not every situation is going to be great. You know what right. I mean? Yeah, but we done people, done some crazy but shit. But the people that come out and show up for you and rep for you and stand in line for you and want autographs from you and rep your shit and wear your shit, those are the people, those are the reasons why we do it. Those are the reasons why we get on stage and sweat it out for them and rock it out like it's my fucking 98 in this bitch because this is who the fuck we are. This is who we plan to be this day forward. And, you know? It What's your what it is. perspective always been on your family? base because it's like you guys have always been known as the second most popular juggalo outfit until you obviously you guys left and we can get to that okay. at some point okay. but like you guys it's kind of interesting because the the juggalo has always been known as like one of the most rabid fan bases in hip-hop and then mm. you guys were just sort of like we've seen a lot of different rappers who sort of like at certain points sort of appealed to that audience right. and it helped their career but you guys were always sure. like the second in command known as those dudes like right. so how did it feel to like one day to, just to like have that fan base be be developing around like what would, you guys were doing i would say appreciative because it's like in 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 the start that was the the biggest thing we wanted a lot was just to be heard and then when we got heard it was like you it, it was it's like a drug mm -hmm. you, you know what i mean you you're in the zone now and you want to go further it's like now we're heard what if we're known and then if we're known what if we're famous and if we're famous what if we're legendary and if we're legendary what if fucking when we're dead people still have our shit and it's it's you know it's worth money or it's mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's fucking beetle shit it's like it's a thought process, but it, but if, like I said, if it keeps you in the zone to keep you, you know what I mean? Mm. That's, that's, that's what I think. <laughs> I forgot He's what like, y'all were talking about. No, I, I was like, got me should I, I not roll you, another dog, one? Let no, him talk. No. We can get should high. I roll no. another one? I mean, fuck it. I'm with y'all, I'm riding but, with y'all, man. No, You're doing this man. exclusive, Look, man. exclusive. <clears throat> I was just talking we about the always, fans. We have <laughs> Our fans, our family, that's what we call them. And that's then our one of y'all got a motherfucking water or something. And um, there's nobody like them at all. I thought he pulled out some cocoa nugs. I was about to be like, bless me up with something. My mouth is dry than a motherfucker. Put it up. Do not. You about, oh, see. Ooh, baby. He's gonna switch out switch out the cookies for the uh oh for the, the caramel that apple. Caramel yeah, apple. that's what it is. Damn. It's fun. It's dessert time. Golly. We had our meal. Golly, golly, golly. It's going down. It hey, is. you made it, man. We're smoking big dope. Hey, we hey, man. We, <laughs> yeah, no, we you made, made it, it motherfucker. Yeah, we sitting here with you, so by you making it, I guess we kind of know see, a motherfucker that made it. I'm, <laughs> I'm hanging out with Twisted. I get to learn about Twisted Real face to face, shit. so no, I feel kind of like it too. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're a talk. That's awesome. No, we see you out there, man. You're on the same grind, too. You got to struggle with you, too. It's just mm -hmm. in a different right. lane. You know what I mean? I think as a YouTuber, 
unless you get to the point where you're getting like millions of views on every single video that you kind of like by definition have to have the like struggle like hustle mentality Absolutely. because you're sort of like back up against the wall and reality is is if i don't make any videos for two weeks i'm going to be getting a shitload of comments on me i fell off and yeah. if i don't make any money or if i don't make any videos for a month i'm going to be getting a shitload of comments telling me i fell off so it's like you right. kind of constantly need to be like proving to the world the like w- what your your value is and not only that you got Absolutely. fucking 25 like, other people right that here. want your spot mm-hmm. 25 right. other people that are waiting for you to stop making them videos that are waiting for happen, us yeah. to stop making doing what we do mm-hmm. that want our spot and it's like mm-hmm. uh-uh no you won't we work too goddamn hard yeah. to just be like here's our spot by just <laughs> kicking back and being lazy that mm-hmm. is such a weird thing to think that a fan like that fandom in some senses is so permanent and hardcore, and in some senses, is is this supposed to be for that's me? You guys no, that's the one we can all piss it at. The that's end. the no, one no. with the Molly in it. Oh my god, yeah, leave that one over there. All right, no, yeah. no, but, man, there's <clears throat> there's nobody. We've toured with all kinds of people, right? And I'll tell you one thing is that every other band that we've ever toured with, 90% of their fans don't come and check them out, mm-hmm. right. We can go play with anybody, and our people will be there Mm. regardless. Regardless, we're like, we're going to do something crazy. Uh, We're playing with Travis Tritt today. No, absolutely. Come on. Who is Travis Tritt? He's right. a he, country yeah. guy or something? I was going to yep. say, he's a country dude. Yeah. I thought he was a race car driver. But we got <laughs> Sounded like a country we'll fucking figure it, it out. It right. Did, it did. right. But if Travis Tritt is like, I hey, gonna I'm example. going to play with fucking Twisted, his fans are going to be like, well, fuck Warped you. Tour. Vans Warped Tour. Prime yeah. example. We oh, you guys went on that? Absolutely. The, the, the last run. We you were on the last one. Cross country That's crazy. Run. Yeah, absolutely. Dude, we were blessed by Shouts out to Kevin Lyman. Kevin Lyman. Real talk. You know, like, it's... it's uh. It's cool to be a part of that and, and, and to see that. And that's a prime example because, like, every day, even if it was, it'd be 13, 15, 32, 100, you know, like these different little markets and these just back by you, wherever the fuck we would be. And, man, they and would put some people on out, these man. places. Mm-hmm. Like, all OG the shows. OG Juggalo in the house were like, man, whoop, whoop, motherfucker, you know, that's right. the you shit. Right, you had your your, di- your people that live for you, man, that, that for we live for, and they came and represented they did. every fucking day. That's it what was I meant when I said earlier about, like, you show up for the motherfuckers who come rep for Like, you. literally, it, we man. left. They left. Make no mistake. Our intention is to have everybody hear us. And the more people that hear us, those people will hopefully become part of the family as well. Just Mm -hmm. like if we, whoever found us the first time around, I kind of think that's what it is a lot of times is with our music and the way that it falls into this like shadowy fucking category of what the fuck is it kind of shit. We're wearing face paint. Right. But it's like when, when people find it, it's like. A new experience. Mm. You, something gravitates. It it, it, told, it filled some part of you, some missing puzzle piece in you. You loved it. You gravitated to it, and then you looked for more. And then you find all this back catalog of all this fucking, you know, really fucking fruitful shit. That's like more shit that's gonna help out and shit like that. And it's just, it, it's cool, man. You you rep for those people, and with the intentions to know that. They found it. They should share it with everybody else. There was a time when it was like real, like, don't share this with nobody. Mm. Keep this real. Don't don't let nobody see this yeah, shit. Yeah, there was and like a time like, when it felt like the fans really didn't want their favorite artists absolutely. to get bigger. And now it feels like that has mostly gone away, where the fans are kind of rooting for you to go get that there, sponsor. Absolutely. Well, well, get not that even tour. that. It's we more waged... that they, they're more accepting of your success. Because, right. I, I mean, at the end of the day, we can't control who likes us just mm. like we can't control who don't like us right so the bigger the platform the more the ears and, and with the, the internet bro yeah we're talking to everybody now uh, so who are we to be like hey don't listen to it like it that right. doesn't make sense so we just put it out there whoever gravitates to it and adheres it's to true. it man that's, that's true that's it that's what it's about the game has changed though and that's the part that's the part that when when you speak about how it was before it's like the game changed so we just evolved with it we didn't make it change, but we just kind of went with it as it went because at one point we were part of a, we were waging a war against the mainstream mm. and we were so anti-mainstream and it's somewhere between there and here as bookends, all that shit disintegrated and people started becoming this new age of 
hey man, we've repped you for so long. We want you to be up in those special play like the hard rock. I went in the hard rock. They should have, you know, a fucking, I don't know, a fucking pair of shoes from an oxide in there, you know, or a page of his lyrics. It's like Juggalo fuck, yeah, became they should. a pop culture and, thing. And mm -hmm. they mean that in their heart. Like with, that shit with like is the true most now. honesty. And they're like that you should be in there. You know, we love you. People more people should know what you how you helped or or what your music means to me. Right. You know what I mean? I hear motherfuckers here. I'm sure J Lo and everybody hears that shit. You know what I mean? Mm. It's like and 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 it's hopefully it's real. But to be that, but to be that, whatever the fuck that is, when you bottle that shit or whatever the fuck, whatever that is, to be that for somebody, man, that's the, that's beautiful shit, man. Right. I don't care what the fuck, that's some beautiful shit. And to be able to continue to keep doing that and keep putting out product like that for more people. You know, we're, it's it's outlets like this and shit. You know what I mean? That we're we're like we're we're more we're more adapting, trying to become to be. You know what I mean? To like kick it on that level because we've been refined for right. so long. You'll you know see, what I you'll mean? go in your comments and it'll you be know? without even watching. Motherfuckers just be like, "Wow, people, more, I don't like dudes in makeup. <laughs> more I don't like sissy face. Paint, Why are you talking huh? to them hoes? You know what I mean? It's crazy. I don't even give a fuck about the music. Don't right. give a fuck about the movement. Don't, don't know. Just don't know answer. the lyrics. Don't know the backstory. Don't know who we rep. Don't know who Nothing. we run with. Don't know shit. Where we came see from. How we got to where we are. Prejudge. Right. I mean, right off the bat. A lot of the best musicians have worn face paint. All those, all those metal bands, Agreed. dude. There's a lot of fucking... David Bowie's, uh, yeah. Alice Cooper's. Come on, man. We could go Kiss. with... Kiss. Uh, Shalimar. Michael Jackson. Right. <laughs> Shalimar. Shalimar got a little like... Shalimar hey, got a couple. Yeah, right. Hey, come on. <laughs> hey. I'm Climax saying, now. Prince, like, Michael Jackson. Come on. You keep going. It's, but it ain't killer. like that. Like, yeah. we don't wear lipstick. This ain't... This are no, lips. I, yeah. My shit is This is how our lips look. His shit is chat. My shit is chat. My <laughs> shit is full I'm of luscious. I'm working out, man. I got a little cup of this shit here, man. That's the Molly one, right? <clears throat> yeah. I, is promise? this seriously Molly water? I, no, I no, believe that's you. That's what my man said it. when he put it down. I'm like, that's the one, though, right? It wasn't this one? I don't know. I, don't, I have on, my man. own water supply around, going here. I have uh -huh. a personal... Uh, I drink no. them all. I have like I a guy you. who tastes everything I drink I before I drink it. I'm going to be on everything. Like the president. I feel you. Man, but yeah. It is what it is. You know, we're never going to change who we are. Absolutely. We're never going to change what we represent. Right. We're, we Absolutely. might alter the way that we represent in the fact of evolution. You, you either to, evolve though. or you die. You, you have mm. to, though. Flat out, we can't be kicking the if same shit we was kicking back in the day. You would be doing a zine, right? Like a, some <laughs> sort of magazine, right? Am I real? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's Somebody like was just trying to get here. me to write an article. I'm You're like, bro, I don't, TV, I don't you know? write articles. I'm a video I guy. I read articles. Yeah, 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 I do read articles, right. but I don't, I'm not like trying to like re-engage with my For like Make sure your punctuation is correct. I left that behind. But they love your insight, and they were like, if he would only translate it into words, it could be gold. I don't anyway. even know what a semicolon you know I mean, no. does. I can't go back in time. I feel yeah. you. Like, I feel you. Semicolon. What the fuck is that? I don't know what the fuck is that. Fuck that that sounds like something that you can't. That's like a stage three thing or something. People like, also think we're, we're we're disconnected from the industry. You know what I mean? Right. They, they're like, I think they're intimidated. Right. You know what I mean? I, I think a lot of people don't understand what we're about, and they and they become intimidated. But we like a whole lot of people. Right. There's all kinds of motherfuckers. We be liking like. a lot of people. Yeah, mm -hmm. man, it's crazy. No, we're down with a lot of people. We're cool with a lot of people. I think that's, and like I said, it's just, it's just, it's a weird time right now. You know what I mean? With with music and and just the way that everything is right now, it seems like we're on the we're, everything is on the verge of getting ready to explode and shift really hard. You know what I mean? Really? Like at the end of like at the end of the '90s or at the beginning of the '90s, rather. You know what I mean? We were in that dark funk. Yeah. Of of and I don't mean like the boom, 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 not that kind of <laughs> funk, but like a funk like and just like I love the funk. You know what I'm saying? And musically, how things had flipped. I love we felt we fell right. into dubstep and all kinds of you know what I mean and trap and it's like we like music that. will That's find its way. Beat. Music will find its way, and I feel like we're in a we're in this. A lot of people are just recycling a lot of shit right now for the sake of being being in the zone and then doing what's what's doing what's cool. Yeah, you know what I mean. I feel like there was a couple of years there of like pretty a lot of excitement in rap, and then it feels like 2019 has kind of been cool so far. But we mm -hmm. are only like four months in, but it's gonna be interesting to see how the later quarters play out because I feel like it's been a little bit dry so yeah. far this year. You know, I mean, and, and that's I believe because motherfuckers are getting fed. Yeah, you ain't hey, as hungry, man. You well, come in like that. It was cool. You we got to throw nothing. our hat up into the game. You now know you got I mean? millions of dollars. We got to throw dollars. our hat up into the game, and if people entertain the record, they might find something that they were looking for. Hopefully, hopefully, if they were to look, you know, uh, at us for that, 
you know what I mean? I'm sure they find a lot of shit on there. Mm. And I think that's the thing. It's like people nowadays are not really uh, too receptive to giving shit a chance. Yeah. Because there's so much of shit out there to pick from. Back in the days, it was uh, very limited. Like going in the VHS store, mm. the horror section was like 10 movies. Now you go on Netflix and you fucking... You you, you don't really watch shit. You fall mm. asleep to the menu. And it's you like, legit fall asleep to the fucking... There's so much abundance of content. It's you, like, fuck, you have access to, to so much that right? it's almost like everyone is it sort of makes this like implicit uh agreed upon decision to just listen to the popular shit right. largely right. it feels like that What's has easy? become even there's more a of a thing there's an absolute yeah. sway not it's to a- mention people are getting their music from spotify and apple music and spotify and apple music are we'll constantly recommend. feeding you <laughs> recommendations yeah. of Fuck stuff yeah. that other people like yes, which sir. it can be very very good but at the same time they're not recommending you shit that is outside of your it's, comfort bubble it's, it's pigeonholing to, you yeah. into that yeah, yeah. it's might turning be you into out. a type so that you you My guys man. should be listening to this type of music because you fit into this demographic and you are this type and, and you know they base it on the stuff that you already listen to if you and listen to I a know. lot of Twisted yes. I could sit here and tell you 10 other groups that they're going to tell you to listen to Absolutely. but then you might not find out that you actually like some other shit that's completely different Absolutely. because yeah. the you algorithm's not that. trying to give you that you exactly. take that information you sell it to marketers and they figure out what ads to run to these people it's, it's all about money and at the end of the day a lot of really good music goes unheard Absolutely. a lot of people with good intentions and great talent go unsung mm. and, and Man, it's, it's unfortunate of, it's a bunch it's, of cats and, out and until like, wow. until it's the last note or the fat lady sing we gonna keep riding it out and keeping it in the lane and, and and keep doing what we do and as long as we're blessed to do that man i believe with all my heart that we will keep putting out the fucking upper echelon of shit mm. and always have that diversity just enough so don't think what you know what's gonna be everybody thinks they know what it is that's the greatest part about twisted that's the you biggest think you misconception know what it is. And right then you actually listen to the shit and you're like that's them no wait that's them really damn what kind of this is weird man give me the cd right. let me let me hold it for a couple of days you know what i mean just mm-hmm. let me soak it up a little bit and then it, you know that's how it works man right. it's like it's right it's, don't like it because it's if whack. you don't, don't have not if like you it don't have that makeup. seal of approval or that that you know that big ass push in in many cases, it, it's it's unfortunate, but that's the name of the game. You gotta follow your dreams, live your passion, man. Put out your art and hope that motherfuckers re- respect it and represent it. Right. And we've had that, and and it's like the level that we've gotten, and we see, and even those people are now starting to tell us, like, we want a street team. We want to. We want to. Man, people. More people need to know. Mm. And and that type of dedication and that type of love, I believe, is 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 the reason. Uh, one one of many fingers of the, on the hands of reasons of why we do what we do. Because there's had to have been times where you guys <clears throat> were doubting whether you wanted to keep going forward for this. There Absolutely. has to have been times where you yeah. were either broke or just demotivated or Absolutely. whatever, right? Like it's, you had to fight you through that. You don't know our struggle. I'd say more about <laughs> being baby, broke you have no idea. than being broke. Right. Yeah. You know because I mean, I mean like, it's not like you guys have been at this for an broke. absurdly long period of time. I mean, no shit, man. Right. you had to have seen every different peak and valley in yes. terms of your emotional state and what really? you're going Absolutely. through, right? You've seen your life and other people's lives unfold in front of you. You know what I mean? So not only do you have a perspective you got like eight of them mm. and you got to see how many what, what, what happened when the other people rolled the dice and oh don't do that shit mm. you know what I mean or double up on that or don't ever do that you know what I mean it's like shit like that so yeah man it's it, it definitely does yep. it plays a big factor you in pay it. attention though mm-hmm. and um and you'll be all right mm. You can you can have some longevity. You just gotta right. pay attention. What uh, I believe that. But so okay, like you guys, this is just the juggle of world had had been such a huge part of you guys' identity for mm-hmm. so sure. long. And then to actually just like take a stand. I don't know if people are even aware of like I watched an interview you guys with, did with fucking Rude Jude where you sort of outlined Rude Jude is the w- shit. When you outlined leaving and everything. Um mm-hmm. how much of a massive decision was that for you guys to step away from Epic. the label? Yeah. That happened. was huge, bro. It was huge, but it was a culminating thing. It was destined to happen. It had to happen. It mm. was going to happen, but it was just... We knew that there was going to be people that are like, what the fuck? But we hoped at the end of the day that the relationship that we built with the people that would loved remain. us mm-hmm. would, would understand that if Twisted is doing it, there's got to be a fucking good reason. They ain't mm. doing it just to be assholes or, or just to though, throw a, a monkey wrench. Right. Like, and, and that's all we can hope for, man. And but those who did, be, did. There's, there's got to be a way that if, you, if, if you're feeling somebody, if they're in your inner circle... I mean, some of my closest people that I loved, man, I would never, I would never hold them back for them, for the, from their dreams. Mm. 
I'm a little cotton mouthy. But yeah, you know what I mean? It's like uh Molly Water will do it. I oh, get it, you bastard! Know. But um, but yeah, you know what I mean? It's like I would never hold them back for their dreams. So 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 what I'm saying is fucking is, we get people and, being even upset. If, no, we were on, upset. Even if even if him and I wanted to say, hey man. We wanted to become a fucking clothing company. Mm. Whatever fucking crazy zany shit you wanted to be, celebrate us. Endorse us, represent us. If, if it's really, you know, that's what it is. Instead of being, you know, like a roadblock in the situation or something like that. And try to, try to you, you see what I mean? He's still rolling. What are you talking to me? I was. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, fuck yeah. I'm rolling this up. <laughs> no, see no what doubt. No doubt. Hey, hey, yeah. it at all. I'm drinking the Molly water, bro. It's all gravy. <laughs> you do be in it. I'm Molly in it. <sighs> Adam's losing it. We're good. We're going, baby. We're going. No, for sure. But yeah, like, right. wait, but okay. So let, let let me just try to go for the jugular on this one. Did you spent so much time around ICP and you saw this ridiculous cult develop around them by at, at the uh, by the time that you guys decided to leave? Did you feel like they were still like people that you were comfortable? Wait, basing ridiculously a, sized, not what, ridiculously. Really? Not, Honestly, not, the, the 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 cult, if you will call them, they're good people. Oh, here's I'm not. I'm got, not hating on the look, cult. By oh, all means, respect oh, the just, cult. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Here's I'm sorry, what, here's I'm what sorry, got I'm sorry, lost. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It must be in, the Molly water. And all the bullshit. Here's what got lost: is they fucking understood us leaving. There was no problem there. They bled you guys. Best wishes to you. Best wishes to you. Mm. So then all of a sudden it became a fucking problem, and we're just like, dude, there's nothing we can do about it. There's nothing. This is what we have to do. This isn't some spiteful thing that we're out to hurt anybody. But you're allowed to have opinions in your life, and you're allowed to be a supportive of what you believe in. And if you don't support me in what I believe in, then don't stand against but yeah, me. Just, just do all be that like, bullshit. I, I, you know, I respect People your People forget views. that. But like, the, the, oh yeah, they were cool you with y'all You could say everyone leaving. who eats meat's a fucking evil bastard because the you know whatever, right? And I could be like, well, hey man, I'm a fucking carnivore. But I the, love it, but I respect your views. But, but we go hang, hang out and have a beer. The, the thing that was the straw that broke the camel's back, though, was the fact that they were basically you felt misrepresenting the the FBI claim that jugglers were a gang. No, was that the thing? No. I mean, it was a part. There it was, was, it was, it was a lot of shit. It was, it was again. It was a culmination of things mm. over over many a long right. years. And we and definitely didn't wake up like you know what. No, we're fuck fucking no. gone today. No, no, we're no, leaving. no, no, no. It was, mm. it was, it was. It was. Man, I'm just telling you. It's like it, it, at sometimes the things that draws people together can also draw them apart. Mm. And and views and change. We were the together. Greatest thing for, I can possibly say. Think about this, man. There's somebody in your life that you probably grew up with for 15 years, and in that 15 years, a motherfucker changes. Oh hell yeah. Their mm-hmm. views Real change. Talk. The certain things change. But and, you still love them, right? And, and know, that's why they were like, "Hey, we understand that." Go do you guys, man. More power to you. Anything you need. Mm. And then it just fucking fell apart. It just, yeah, it just, it, it fell apart over time. And it is what it is. I mean, it's it like, sucks. you know. It People sucks. act like we're happy about it. Like, they're like, man, we're so upset. Why don't you guys, you know, do this or do that? Like, man, you guys don't understand what that did to us. Yeah, man. Like, it just rolled off our back. That fucked us up, man. More, la- more layers that of a fucked up onion, man. Up for real, dog. To, to know we ain't going into it, but yeah, that shit fucked us up, bro. Shit. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't to be fucking celebrated. It ain't to be lauded. Right. It is, it is something that happened, and we're not happy on on everything. But we had to fucking do what we had to do, but bro. We made a promise to ourselves when we started doing this mm. that nothing would stop us. Nothing would stop us. Meaning, like straight from the gut, Nobody. straight from the cut. We were in a, we were in a group called Infamous Superstars Incorporated with Blazer Dead Homie. And that was one of the first cuts. Drop your homeboy. Now you're a duo. Whoa. Okay, cool. Make a sacrifice. Move it. Keep it pushing. Mm -hmm. How bad do you want it? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Nothing will stop us. So even today, you know, even tomorrow, it's Mm -hmm. it's it's part of that no stop drive. It's like what we knew. We knew that we would do what we would do. Also, we you know, obviously we promised our homie we gonna put him on, and instead of just blowing smoke up his ass like he told you earlier, we did. Then he became Blazer Dead Homie, mm. who was like, you know, if you and were, we brought when, you, when, you were, killer. when you were tearing us up and saying we would right. be the number two, he's got to be like the fucking number three. He's yeah. an official Dark Lotus member. He's fucking, you know, right. OG Dark Lotus fucking right. down. It's like in that regard. So, I mean, it, it, it's like 
you go hard for the people that you represent. You go hard for the people that live in your heart. Right, mm -hmm. motherfuckers and act like we weren't dying for, like, we were the fucking motherfuckers, dude. We fronted that I record can't. label like nobody else did or has since that. And that was our fucking blood, bro. A, a lot of people just, you know, in the rap game, they start out as soldiers, Mm -hmm. To a certain extent, to a larger artist, but then a lot of people like are are capable of dealing with that kind of role for or a evolving. period of time, and then they eventually get fed up with it and they can't handle it. You guys stand out because you were like, you know, eighteen or twenty years or however long that you guys seemed like really, really loyal, like absolutely soldiers bro. to absolutely. the movement. You like, fuck with that? sure. Absolutely. Catch me on the next round. Y'all fucking me. Y'all going deep as shit. And that's bro. why I said it's so much deeper than us leaving a <laughs> fucking record wanted. label. You know what I mean? It's so much. We left Def Jam. We left, I, we left record labels that were fucking 20 times the size of that. Had nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. It was about what we had created together over the course of fucking 16 or 17 years. Now is all just a, a squirt of piss in our face because you woke up like, hey, fuck them. And it's like, man, we can't live like that because we built this shit too. Mm. We died for this too. Or that's our feel, blood and sweat feel, and tears. If you feel that something's going in one direction and you feel that it should be going in another direction, oh, you, yeah. you do what's right for you. You know what I mean? It's, you, it's I can't you oh, man, throw a joint. I thought what you, is you, happening? You, 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 you went like this to get to him and he went. Like that, he like did, you were like gonna toss like, it. But we used to huh? do that. We used to throw blunts across the room. Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna do you like that. Oh man. My luck would go right into that clip. Like, ah. I don't know. Maybe he's really talented at it and he's like, he might. Shit, I've like. seen him catch drumsticks on the stage, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, I like we affect people's lives in a way bro. that I guess, a, I don't know. It's, it's very special, bro. It's not like this phony thing where they're like, yeah, you saved my life or whatever. Like, they fucking mean it. We mean so much to these to these family members mm. that the divide is something that will never be understood. Mm -hmm. And we refuse to just go into the blood and guts of everything just so everybody can some understand. Things, we'll eat can, that. Some things are personal. Some we'll things eat are, that. You know what I mean? Some things you keep close with you and some things are just, that's right. how it is. And, and, and in some regards, I think... I think when people don't respect the the, the situation of, of, you know, just being like, look, this is what happened in that. And it's sometimes, I mean, it's like. It's it, always got to be guys. more than what it is. Yeah. I mean, it's like basically you can, you can, you can pretty much fucking Google search and see like what was said <laughs> by whom and, and how much and, and what the fuck. And it was like, Hey man, knock it the fuck off, mm. you know? And and it and it persisted and that's where it got, man. So it is, is what it is. You know what I mean? We won't have it our sucks. hands forced. We're, no, we're not we happy about it. We believe in what we believe. We but represent it it for is. the people we represent, and, and you know. Do, do you feel like a lot of the fans, especially like the old time fans, that just like have that 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 you know consider you guys to be such a big part of the label? Like, do you feel like it's been hard for them? Do you feel like you've lost yeah, fans because of it? Or I feel absolutely. I feel I feel we've lost fans. I because think they of it. have too. Absolutely. You and, know what I mean? And, I believe that we both have. And that's sucks though not to, not to hang on a negative but that sucks a lot because you know the fact that somebody would be that vested into something that they would be willing to just be like i'm good you know what i yeah. mean it's like right. seriously we're like it must have just been the, the day, address when it came to us that's, that's a weird feeling man. you know that's what I mean? why that's why we've been being like let the music speak turn for on itself us on a dime without research anything without even hearing our side mm. fuck them and that's I'm where, afraid of some and then shit when like you look that, at it like, <laughs> when you look at it from that vantage point you're like well then hold up did you really ever really love me or were right. you just on some oh you homies with the homie of the homie so i'll buy you mm. too it's like i don't want no fake shit yeah. if you if you with us and you ride with us ride with us rep with us that these people have us tattooed on their body and this mm. is a life and culture for them so yeah man we go hard for them raise their kids in this shit yeah absolutely and just because somebody says we don't belong we're just supposed to leave mm. it's not gonna happen it ain't man we're gonna represent for the juggalos to the day that we die and yes, we're sir. tired of the motherfuckers getting a bad rep and always in a bad light because that's what mainstream america wants them mm. to see Mm -hmm. They want that movement to look like shit. They want these sitcoms and why these comedy it, shows to go it, on there and clown it's on Why is it every joke, time you know? the Juggalos get coverage, it's always in a bad light or the right. butt of a fucking joke? Yeah. I feel and this why building is that with celebrated? Juggalos that are doing And why is that things? celebrated, though? That's real shit. Like, that's the fucking question. Why is it celebrated that Juggalos are always the butt of a fucking joke? It's like, yeah. oh, we were mentioned on Saturday Night Live again in a real kick you in the dick skit. Let's, you know, what the fuck is that? Right. We get 
we take offense to that because, yeah. mind you, we spent 15, 20 years talking about this is motherfucking... This, this is, is what, what we it represent. is. Yeah. Fuck the mainstream. And then the mainstream flipped it on you, and now they're clowning you. And you're like, hey, that was great. That was cool. Like, what the fuck happened? It's Again, it's twisted. a matter of opinion. Mm -hmm. And we feel that way, and other people felt a different way. Right. So it was only... it was only. There's a lot of people that are like, oh, man, you guys in, in the mainstream. And we're like, uh, what you don't understand is Juggalo has been mainstream for a good 10 years now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't see the word twisted uh, mm -hmm. in the office, or they ain't talking about twisted. It's on true. Saturday Night Live or talk about twisted on workaholics or always sunny. None of that. Mm -hmm. It's juggalo shit. It's and true. it's like we're still pushing that agenda, man. It goes it to show you that we're there's still a pulse there. Yeah, we, absolutely. We're still out there. The juggalos are still out there. Mm. And it's become something where it's more it's 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 cool to it's it, it maybe it's cool to be. It could be cool to be, like we're not sure. You know what I mean? Like it's there's some people that are standoffish, and then there's people who are like Day one juggalo. Mm. Uh, and then you get the people who are juggalo against juggalo. You're a new juggalo. And right, that shit was an answer on motherfucking you're a, Jeopardy. You're a fair weather juggalo. Like, it was whoa. on Jeopardy? Yeah, absolutely. Wow. Juggalo, that was an answer mm -hmm. on Jeopardy. That's like, crazy that Alex Trebek yeah. knows. Right. And Alex Trebek whoa, whoa. was like, fucking yeah. Whoa, <laughs> Alex Trebek was like, crazy whoa, whoa. Shit, whoa. Right. And that's crazy too. It was like, yeah, who are the fans of Insane Clown Posse? The juggalo. But Straight what the people up. have done for us that made us who we are... We will never stop for them. Absolutely. Never. And we will never change. We will always evolve, but we will always mm -hmm. be twisted. That's Always, real. man. You gotta be, man. That's yep. the only thing that we really have that we'll always have. What What does the grind look like for you guys these days? Are you guys on tour all the time? Do you record we all the time? We run a record with, label. Yeah. We got we want, a con well, we that we do every everything year. yourself now, huh? Oh, yeah, man. Here, yeah. we'll trade. Yeah. We'll trade yeah. back and forth so we don't talk over each right. other. You say one, I'll say one, and we'll keep going until we run out. Tell them what we got going on. Um, right now, we have a record label called Magic Ninja Entertainment, mm -hmm. and it has about... 10 motherfuckers that just destroy microphones. Mm -hmm. I promise you that. Tell me when you're tapping out. And I'll go, go ahead. Online. Okay. That was one. We have a comic book through uh, Source Point Print uh, Press. Pardon me. No, let me get my... <laughs> More Wally Water. <laughs> I'm saying, yeah, man. We have, we have, a, we have a comic book called Haunted High um, The Darkness Rises is the new miniseries. Uh, it's a one of four yeah. issues that are coming out uh, exclusively through Source Point Press. Uh, Dirk Manning and, and, and Maria mm -hmm. and, and the creative team behind it and it's awesome to have a comic book and um, that's just the beginning we're going to try to segue that into some sort of an either an animated or action live mm. movie in, in that in that bubble I'm tapping out Go. we put our own comic con on so a pop culture con you know what I mean thousands of fucking people everybody come to see the fresh gas cool shit like when is that, that? When? Yeah. It's in February. Holy shit. In that, Michigan. It's, in Michigan. It's, we got to get you there. Mm -hmm. Oh, I want to go. That'd well, be fucking seriously, sick. Yeah, no, you got, look, all the all the homies are repping it, man. We got, oh, okay, that's yeah. what that is, a yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. Astronom Astronomicon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. We're trying to, we're, we're, yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to, I'm tapping them sucker fucking off of yours. We're trying to throw our hat Wait, into can that. Can I throw an idea out there? Yeah. Fuck oh, yeah. yeah. Game of Thrones, but about Juggalos. Go. Oh, my God, Whoa. dude. I'm such a Game mind of Thrones blown. motherfucker. Instantly mind blown. And I only know from the commercials. I'm waiting till it's all done, and then I'm going to start it again on a Man, tour. Man, you know I'm that, such right? a huge That's Game of Thrones plan. fan. Oh, me too. I'm he just is. fucking crazy. Oh, I'm so into it right now. Straight up, All man. I know is the I was about to come here dressed up like a Doth Rocky ride one of them horses, <laughs> but I ain't know how They're it was. They're all gone now. Yes. Right. No more Doth Rocky. There was a couple Spoiler, that ran. Sorry. Yeah. And when Spoiler, I seen the yeah. Doth Rocky wow. run, bro, I was like, oh, something ain't right. Hey, and I just want to say, Night King, suck my dick. Arya took your ass out. With Fuck the you. quickness. Ha, her, 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 her. Damn, man. We Boom. watched her come up. Right to the nuts. <laughs> we watched her come up. We watched her come up, man. We watched her go from like a 12-year-old to watching her basically hook up. Right. We saw her naked from the side. Oh, I was terrified. Wow. That was weird. That was, it felt like seeing like, thank I, you. I don't have a daughter. We have thank you. Like no, what we, we have children. We have I to do skip have that season. Daughter. I don't want to see that. It, it felt like you. if you had a daughter and then one day you walked in on her about to bone somebody and oh, you were just like, God, no! you evil bastard. I'll but also that knowing that this is what life is, is that people oh. grow the fuck up and start fucking. I mean, early real back talk, then. Real talk, because if you go back and you look at your your youth, young and doing dumb shit, yeah, man. Fuck well, at yeah. least she wasn't fucking her family member. Hey. Well, Jesus Christ, listen, I, that's I mean, true. It turned into there Jerry was enough, real quick. Uh, like, enough no. family fucking. But yeah. they said there's a bunch of spinoffs in the work. Maybe, man, I'm mm -hmm. hype. 
I'm gonna dress up like the wow. White Walker until they do something. I'm gonna grow my hair out. White Walker. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking dope. We need that Photoshop That's for real, dope man. Like <laughs> you guys in the night came posted up. That's right. probably as fuck. fuck. Yeah, dude. That sounds Well, you gotta regal come to Astro, fuck. man. We gotta oh, yeah. get you there, yeah, man. For real. So you guys got yeah, all the bro. hot uh, fucking cosplay chicks and shit. Dude. Dude. Yeah, no, got, talent. yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. There's cosplay. We had to tell one of them put a shirt on because content. Yeah, the thing was hanging. You know, the thing. Two inches above the thing. It's a it's a family event. So we, we market that as, as a family event for like, you know, everybody, Junior Jane, all the way to mom and pop. So when you got to check what her tits are like, and we were like, baby, you got to cover up. Very artistic. It was body paint. Yeah, right, yeah. It right. Was. But I, I knew the my balls was nipples. I didn't know the character, but she was committed. Yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. She yeah. looked like, awesome. She was in it. She was in awesome. the zone. But, um, but there wait, was little kids walking around. We ta- did you go back again? <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, we're on tour right now. Damn it. You could come see us right Mm -hmm. now. There's like probably about 10 dates left. And uh, it's awesome because we're, this is usually when people bring out a record, they just go do like autographs and shit like that. And we're like, fuck it, we'll just do some shows, perform some of the new shit and just see what happens. Go have some fun Uh and, and push the record. And that shit has been crazy. It's been awesome. I don't want to say the last one because I don't want to jinx shit. Go ahead. We're, we're talking to two. We're, damn it! Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm high, man. You got me high, dog. The I'm, answer we're, is we're, no. We're, we're we're talking to two or three different uh, toy companies who I'm not allowed to say oh, uh, about about potentially producing a, a, some sort of an action figure or vinyl of me and Paul. Wow. And I think that's cool because we collect toys and obviously we got the comic yeah, book we're deal. Huge and we're really into the whole the whole fucking you know nerdy thing, man. Funko Pops and Jordans, man. That's my. Whip right there. I collect the shoes out of that. I, mean, toys, I don't know. know how old you guys' kids are, but that just seems like it would be so tight for them to have action figures of dad. I think so you know, too. For real. They don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You Keep it real. Say that. You can't say my, that, man. My daughter understands it more than anything now because she is older. For real. But, okay. man. Up until like you know the fifteens, he always says shit. that shit. That shit's Your so dad. ice cold. He's like, my household is ice when I'm cold. When I'm signing people when we're eating dinner, they're like, "What the fuck oh is that all God. about?" Wow. No, I'll, I'll give you that though. No, I'll give you that. My kids get pissed. When, when, Not they, that they get pissed, they don't understand. No, it. Your when kids they think didn't. your fans like are your losers. Dad. No, no, no. no. <laughs> like, when, you like this guy? When, <laughs> that's my dad. No, right, like what the he's fuck? Not famous. Before, he's my dad. Before they really understood the dynamic of it, they would get upset. Why uh-huh. do those people keep saying stuff to dad? We're right. here. We're here at the fair trying to have. Fa- well, well, who are those people? And it's like, oh, you don't understand. Those are dads. You know, they they listen to his music and they appreciate. Us. Oh, okay, cool. And now they're just like, you there are a lot of the reasons we're at this So fair. I can get back. You, you right. know, they, they know. They know. Yeah, so man. it's it's cool, man. It really is. They understand. They respect. And 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 they know. They appreciate. You know what I mean? As it's we hard do. to have that. We know to we have would. A successful we all career, know. We all know family. we wouldn't have anything without them. So it's like mm. absolutely take the time to take the photograph, stop and get the autograph. Unless I'm in a car going 60 mphs, I'm not gonna swing out the foot. Oh, Hold on, man, you sign your shirt. You know what I mean? It's like, oh man, you're a yeah. hoe. You didn't even sign my shirt. Like man, back up, all. You know? Yeah. We always stop for the pictures. You're like, and, and, you, you know. gotta explain to your kids, like, listen, your dad would be a crackhead <laughs> if it wasn't for these people. Right. I mean, <laughs> you know that bed you're sleeping in? A no. crackhead or a crack. Dealer, that, is that fair to say? If you guys yeah. weren't, if you would, guys hadn't become rappers, then you could have like gone think, one of those. Ways. I learned at a young I'm age. Not, would, Whitney Houston mm-hmm. told me crack is whack. Really? Yes. yes. Okay, she told me. No, wouldn't wouldn't have been a crackhead. Uh, I don't think I, I don't think I have the nuts to do be a crack dealer. Okay. So I'll just keep that one million. But but we would have been in some sort of something. I, I know we would have applied ourselves. To be blatantly honest with you, we would have probably been in some sort of. We would have been something. A comic card Who knows? like novelty hobby shop kind of deal like trying to put like um what like like Newberry Comics are you hip I you, I grew up right outside Boston Word. so, so, yeah, so yeah, like so they're they're, they're, become, they're trying to become like a franchise that has different locations and grow that's I would feel that if, if we weren't doing this that's what they so then it would be like oh dad and, and Uncle Paul are like Jane Silent Pop they're a comic <laughs> well, shop and they get high that a lot that's you know? funny. <laughs> they get high a lot and they're really chill <laughs> and they stand outside the gas station yeah, I don't know man right? I think I'd have been balling I think I would have went to I think you know, I would have went and played because I can ball oh I could, yeah I don't know about that right now okay but, because that cardio ain't what it once was. <laughs> but, you know, we can sit Damn. there and shoot for a half hour or something. Yes. Yeah, that'd be good, yeah. It's we got to put you up against Riff Raff, because I, I played against Riff Raff, and he beat I, my ass. Riff Raff's in too good a shape. I can't fuck with you, Riff. He played in college and shit, so it's pretty. He, went, he didn't do that, about great, that but he did all right. If I was in the shape I needed to be, it wouldn't matter. Oh, okay. I'm bombing on him. I don't really? sports. I'm throwing Shouts it out, out now, so Riff you don't Raff. be like, oh, he held out. Yeah. Like, I don't sports. I called it. I don't sports. I don't sports. I don't, bro. I'm a sports.
spectator, no. not a hater. I'll watch you guys do it. I'll go. You look like a catcher. Because ta- <laughs> you got the backwards hat and the Oh, he's a catcher. Oh, guy. Come on. <laughs> Fuck both of you for that. that. That was no fair. We teamed I was just texting him like, yo, we're going to see some shit about him being a catcher. Damn yeah, it. Hell yeah. God damn it, man. That's hilarious. No shit. No, no I play sports. I play uh-uh. baseball and basketball. Since I played baseball since I was like five. And I played basketball from 12. But mm. I was just. Yeah. I love basketball. That was my shit. That's but then after shit. we started doing this, it's like, man, you can't be out there hooping. You break your ankle or something. We got canceled the tour. I'm For fucking real? kill you. For real. Yeah. So a That's lot of real. extracurricular shit cut out. Mm. <laughs> like putting up Christmas lights and mopping right, and shit. Getting on the you roof can't do those things. Shit up. You use that shit for every excuse man. in the world, man. I can't make dinner. What if I hurt myself, man? I can't <laughs> right. be getting on. I got to go on tour and That's shit. why I always tell my girl that the <laughs> Postmates <laughs> delivery person is a woman. And I'm like, you got to go get it. I can't. I can't. I it's, I a, can't. it's a girl. She'll be intimidated. She might feel weird. You got to go get it. Yeah, right, right. I can't do that shit. It all right. evens out at some point, though. Oh my god, that's great. A man pays the price for being a man, and a woman pays the price for being a woman at some point. And right, that sucks. Yeah. Well, yeah. they have their periods, and we have to go to Vietnam and, and we kill people over there. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I don't, I'm just. <laughs> don't come at me. I just hear right now, mm, 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 and both of them are talking. So that's yeah. Just, yeah no, yeah. Just he's like for real, dude. It's just. He got the Molly water. Yes. He got the Molly water. Molly water has got me going crazy, too. Actually, it's just Starbucks, but still. I ain't mad at you. No, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. How are you guys feeling? What, what do we got to look good? at? Well, I guess I was my, usually my last question is what do you guys have coming up? But we kind of already uh, covered a large percentage of that. Man, we'll right, I'm yeah. forever. We're no just, doubt. No, I'm fucking. I'm, I'm, high, I'm not gonna lie. I'm high. Shit. Nobody no, talks to us. So when somebody talks to us, we're like, "Hey, so you know what I mean?" It's <laughs> no. like, hey, "Where are you going?" Hold no, on. No, no, nobody right, talks. Yeah. Why are you turning the lights off? It's, <laughs> it's it's a situation, man. Where it's like I said, it's like it's it's when you're in the unsavory bunch. You know what I mean? It's like motherfuckers mm. are a lot less receptive to kick, to reach out and 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 chat. And like when people like you give it an opportunity, it gives a broader audience and in and some intel into who the fuck we are more right. than just some painted people. That, you know, look like man. Mike Heath with the catcher hat, as you say. Or fucking, yes. you know, he looks like fucking what? What is he, Billy Ripken over here with the Oreo motif? Come oh. on, what do you want from me? He it's looks like like, uh, like Cal Ripken got killed See? by a White Walker oh. and came back. Hell yeah. Do you remember the fall? Oh, and I can play shortstop. See? You're the living dead army cut. version of Cal Ripken. That's he got awesome. To cut. Shouts yes. out to Cal Ripken. Shouts out to Cal and the whole Unless he's a racist. Family. I don't yeah, want to, you know what I mean? Was Cal Ripken racist? Don't worry, Cal Ripken. You know what I mean? You know, we're not co signing for Cal Ripken. He comes from that age, that generation know. where you just don't know. Yeah. I don't want to yeah, hear just... Larry Bird say the N word. I'm just going to throw that out there. I don't want to. Yeah, no, I don't want to know about that shit. Because if he it, did, please don't leak the tape. Right, God, don't let us know because it. it's, it's that's the type of shit that's changing perceptions on shit. Right, you should have uh, known when and going into it. Just just listen to it and yeah, man, yeah. Or, or enjoy it. Wow, we, uh, I don't know how we got deep. there. We did an we interview did. with these uh, one time, and I swear to God, about thirty minutes into it, the lady leaned over. We're talking about like one of our concerts, and she's like, "Can black people come?" <laughs> it was the most and uncomfortable we like, shit and weird, and we were like. Are you fucking serious? We were like, yeah, what? Yeah. Like, Something what? about like, us what? is giving off some kind of vibe. It yeah. was just like, it do was, I look like an elitist? Do you like, think what the it was fuck? strange. It was strange. It was very, very strange. That was Holy weird shit. as shit. But it was yeah, very, very unsettling. We it was represent like, I didn't know everybody. How to, yeah, I was like, trying. I was like, no, we love everybody. Right, was like, like Jesus. Like, I don't shit? know why you would. Why, why would you say that? What the fuck? I was, I was kind of offended, but trying to keep assumption. it in the mode. I mean, you know, you don't want to pop off as some fucking, you know, morning talk lady who doesn't really know what she got herself into. I'm, I'm glad that she asked rather. Than just assuming that your concert was some sort of racist ceremony. I mean, True. I guess so, but the fact that it's looking for some kind of light. But she out assumed it's kind of weird. That's like, yeah. right. Or, yeah, and yeah. brought it up on the air. All right, hold on. Let me that let me take one more it. stab at her. There didn't have a better way of going about asking that right. particular question. She couldn't compartmentalize that motherfucker in a better Easter egg other than. So is that how I it started like, looking mm. into my like? What did I do? I, right. Yeah, no, I was like that would make that lady think. Well, that. she might really just not have known. Like she might she have just really thought didn't. it was a pretty legitimate. Question she in truly that moment, didn't. Yeah. No, she absolutely did not. Yeah. She had no idea who, who, or what the fuck. But she anything. sat there for the whole interview. She heard the whole speech. And and uh, and at the end of it was like, damn, those boys are pretty cool. We coming back at you six o'clock with some more, you know. And it was like work, work. That that evolved very quickly. And it was just a on. It was a fucking in the field action of how that shit can happen. Yep. People who is, people have fucking prejudged. Go in with it. And who you know, who is the most mainstream artist that you guys ever worked with in any capacity? Have any like weird ones? Like you just got a ludicrous verse one time? No. Um, mm, 
Master P. We, it's more we got. Time. Yeah, we Master fuck P. with Master P back in the day. Dog was, you know, I mean, we're talking like the the no limit is ruling everything, yeah, and everything's wow. got a tank on it. And Master and P, and they yeah. were just down to do anything like Juggalos. And, fuck it, no, I mean, let's give know, it a well, shot. Well, it was no. Unfortunately, <laughs> we won't get into the real we story. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, but, but, but no. But you asked a question, and I go give we you gave the you answer. answer. Like, yes, sir. Yes. yes, yes. No, but man, it's more about the shit that we see. The people that we like, they motherfuckers will come to the show, and within 30 minutes, they see what's going on, and they're like, paint my face. <laughs> paint they my have face. fun. They're we had Scarface fun. busting in our dressing room. Fuck yeah. Scarface painted his face. He, he paint wanted face. us to paint his, his face. He was just face. like, dude, I, they gave me these sticks. Hook me up. And we're I'm like, just Look, like, that's weird. We don't want you to go out weird face, so we're going to tell you what to do. So wow. we, we talked him through it because we didn't feel comfortable touching another man's face, let alone legendary Scarface. Yeah. We were just like, Kind of marking out, but at the same time, just like you could say, I touch face is face. That was face wow. with face. Uh, there's a bar. That's a, we missed it. That's a bar. But but no, it was painted face is face. Fa Listening it's, to Ace of Base. Yes, no, yes, right. Yes. See, See, I we don't, don't care about your race. You bet, look, of my whole We're crew, that dude. Of my whole crew, that was, dude got up and was like, "Oh, it's about to go." Oh, now, right. Matt was Y'all ain't ready for that. He was formulating. He's. We got. He's, yeah, come on. It's, and that's, that's a whole another thing. show. A lot um, of people just see me and him. It's more than me sure. and him. There's a crew of people around us, man, that mm -hmm. we trust. With our integrity, we trust with every every fiber of our being. People that, that see helps in us what other people what see, is. and they're mm -hmm. like, they feel the same way we do. Like, it should be bigger. It should be better. More people should know about this because look what it does. You know, like, he reads the emails that come through to people. He, I'm pointing to my manager, George. He reads, he reads emails that come in, and it's like, some of these things are so, like, heartfelt that they'll fucking hit you in the feels like Avengers 3. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's like, and you're like, man, what the fuck? What do you say? And he gonna like, cry in the car. I, I might. I fucking for real might. Not own that shit. That'll be me. Whatever, man. I'm sorry for crying in the car. Mm -mm. No, but but it's like it's 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 a matter of 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 like you know you could be you could talk that shit and then just walk away from it and ignore it or 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 address it and and like try try to provide some sort of solace or peace for these people that are in a you know what I mean in a predicament and they reach out to somebody that they look up to uh -huh. or that they feel. Is, has a direct connection with. I feel your artwork. I love Stuff what you do. I, I love. To. I love your music. It speaks to my soul. I'm about to die. You know what I mean. And I just. I want to. Can I kick it? I know it's say no make a wish shit, but can you spare four minutes? Uh -huh. And it's like, no. No. <laughs> I mean, Fuck and that's you. and that's the that's the cool tough guy <clears throat> thing to say. Nah, it's like, right. and I gotta fucking work myself up into a zone and be like, yeah, you go it. above and beyond, do man. Do it, man, because it's like if 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 it was me. And and it was the person that I wanted to do that, and they wouldn't. How how lame? You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Not that I should feel entitled to anything. There's no none of that shit going on. But because there's like, a fine line between entitlement and gratuity. You, you know what I mean? Absolutely, absolutely. But but the but the ideal of actually being like yes, because if it was me, I would want someone to do that for me or to for my loved one or something. Like you have no idea. This is my aunt or my uncle, and they have like everything you ever put out and they love you and they have lyrics of yours tattooed man just the horror you, stories you know that people I mean? tell us maybe of going to meet and greets i'm like oh my can't. god <laughs> you paid for that yeah jesus christ did they punch you you know what i mean like, for standing in line forever oh, oh and god. just dealing with the worst shit ever right yeah. and i'm like did you ever go so you're probably like i'm not, no i went three more times like i don't mm. fucking understand that demand more from your entertainment yes, mm. yes demand more but i mean it's like yeah but it's like some people you know write it off to you know maybe i do that sometimes but it doesn't happen we try to actually make it happen as much as possible obviously we're not on a taylor swift level so it's not like i got you know 18 filing cabinets worth of these you know letters or nothing like that but when they do come I down the pipeline, dresses come on <laughs> it, you know what i mean but but like no but it's like, true but it is true and it's like it's just that's i think that's something special to be able to provide that that's, we that's all i'm trying to say <laughs> right it's, it's like, like one of those things only, any like, day they'll take it away from us no it's like one of the uh, dogma shits like when the motherfucker didn't say god bless you and the yeah. angels were about to chop everybody's fucking heads off it's a life decision you had an opportunity to do someone a solid and you were like nah i'm too good i'm not to roll this blunt mm. right. you could, i could roll the blunt while i'm talking what's what's up uh whoever you know what i mean it's like work it into your day Right. If, it, if it can, if you can bless somebody up with a little bit of something to get them through their shit, man, do that. Cause right. you might no, need that shit someday, crazy. and that shit comes around, man. You might need that shit someday, and hopefully, someone will do the same for you. When I see them young kids, man, they're like 12, 13 years old, come through that meet and greet, and I'm like, man, 
Man. After the show, let's go break in some cars or something. You know, let's bond. I'll be getting like, mad because I'll be like, man, don't be saying that shit to let's them. Bond. They laugh and like sometimes it's like he does it just to see their 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 like true to, to life reaction. Of their, some of them like, are like, okay, and I'm like, motherfucker. Bro, we understand that. So that. Please on y'all. It's so funny to just temperature check them and just see how down they are. You want to rob a bank? Yeah, right. right. And they're just like, right. They're like, oh, let's I'm, go. Uh, as soon as the ones are like, yeah, I'm down. I'm like, frisk these two. The gr- yeah, yeah. Hold them to the side. You don't want them in the show. They're deranged. Right, right. We want to make sure they weren't over stealing shit from the merch. We got some at risk teens right here. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, absolutely. Right, right. There's an 800 number on the back of the shirt. The best is when you do that and the Sponsored mom, the mom is with them. And it's like their mom in the background, like, no, they won't be robbing a bank. And you're like, we're they're fucking playing. Shut they up, mom. Though, mom, we, yeah, we pegged you as the getaway driver, right? right? You can afford the cougar, you just can't drive it. Like, Jesus I'm going to teach you Christ. kids how to hotwire today. Uh, here we go. <laughs> the red but that's what the people blue. think. Yeah. yeah, that's what they yeah. think. Yeah, is that, that you know that, that that's the message mm-hmm. that we send is mm-hmm. this debauchery and it's we're so much deeper than that man mm. so much deeper than anything any conception could be had about twisted hundred mm. percent yes, if you've never fucked with us and you've just went off of some preconceived notion you're fucking wrong and yeah. I would Absolutely. like to think that if you have been fucking with us since day one you've seen so many new evolutions of us as we go forward into the the you know 19 and i'm fucking as far ever long as we're blessed to ride but you know what i mean you'll see us evolve as we go and that's 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 a it's it's gonna happen it's inevitable it's gonna happen and it's awesome to see the people that were day one still going along and still riding with, yeah man it's absolutely. crazy man Gives you like, hope you could be like Ron stones you could be 71 day and still dead. holding it down man paul mccartney's dead. rocking shit at the eight dead years heads, old right? you know like you got the fucking dead doing heads. it jerry's been dead for like 25 years and they stayed there's like cover bands crazy. sublime and, same right. shit. I mean, same shit yeah. man for real it's like just to be just to live on shouts out to, to live, rome yeah fuck yeah shouts out to rome and sublime they were mm-hmm. dope but that show we did mm-hmm. yeah fuck yeah um but but just you know just just any opportunities like that man who yeah. you fuck with? Who you listening to yeah. these days? Ooh, you know who I like from uh, Detroit is these dudes, Drago and Bino. Yeah. Oh, I shit. just interviewed them, and they're super fucking grimy street shit. And, and that's the only tight. way you'll get that shit. You got you to gotta go down and be in them streets. You can't even find an addict, motherfucking <laughs> FYE. Yeah, no, for Like, real. that's just for how real. Detroit's always been like sense, that. Yeah. I swear to God, I'll listen, because Jude will play a lot of it. Uh-huh. Jude and, and as soon as it comes on... It has its own sound. Yeah, and there's, absolutely. There's, there's another dude, uh, Bang Gang Lonnie from Detroit too, that I'm super into. And yeah. I just recently had all of them in here, so I was just like listening to them a lot. That's dope as fuck. Yeah, Hell that's yeah. Tight. There's a song called Detroit to Inglewood that I just keep watching on YouTube. Damn. I'll show you guys after this, but they're Duh. just, I don't know, it's just like super grimy Airbnb See? visual, but the fucking song is hard as fuck. Yeah, that's right. fresh as fuck, and that's and that's the same shit, like putting us up on new material. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Something we can push along to people too. That's yeah, that's yeah, fresh. Yep. Yeah. That's yeah. fresh. Unfortunately, I could just oh, I'll just trade you our material. I was like, I'm gonna put you up on a couple shits I'm listening <laughs> to. Let's like, do it, yeah. you ever hear that highly suspect? That shit is pimp. Highly right. suspect, you're into them? Yes, sir, oh, man, nice. That's yeah. the shit, man. Slightly I know stupid. the dude who signed them, who ironically is Leo Cohen's son. There you really? go. Blown. Connectivity. <laughs> that's dope though man that's no but the rad. singer dude is like hung out here a bunch of times too because he's like friends with my uh my friend no or shit my co-owner of the shop so okay like Fredo, that's yeah. fucking fresh as hell yeah mm. no man that's Small awesome world. that's dope man absolutely man they got it's really really talented love what you dude. got going on man i right, appreciate man. that man. absolutely 100 yeah. percent yeah, dude, it was an honor to get to fucking chat you guys up. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people watching this video that were just like, dude, I've always known about Twisted, but I never fucking thought of listening to them talk for an hour and a half. This That's was tough. I don't know. Yeah, you know maybe, I, mean? I don't know. know. Maybe. Yeah. I don't but know. this we, is real. You know, we didn't, it's not like we're, and then we would like to say to, like, this is just us. Yeah. You know, all these motherfuckers. I mean, over I got there a nervous. little weird when we brought the Molly water out. I'm not going to, we can, right. you know, but I'm Molly over water it. will make things but weird. I, I'm over it. I can't, we, we grew together. I'm, yeah. I, I, I we're merely here bullshit. to kidnap your children. I left my pussery yeah. in the dust. I <laughs> kicked it its ass, man. We're good. No, oh, man, yeah. that's it. I, we, yeah. I needed to take one further step into the drug. Juggalo Hive, you know, step by step, yeah, right? deeper and deeper. Hey, there's a movie came out about that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's yep. nice. Yep. It I is coming it. out. I, mm-hmm. I thought it was out. Oh, shit. There you go. Yeah, I think I the chick from um, Orange is the New Black is in there some shit. Oh. Wow. Yep. But, all right. Well, hey, I appreciate Twisted for coming through hey, and man, rocking with you. us, man. Thank it was you, tight. Man. No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, SoundCloud, yeah. iTunes. Appreciate you guys. Hey, appreciate man. you, man. Thank you, brother.